Hi friends, watching movie reviews with Raghuram. In this video, I'll be reviewing Kiladi Kumar Akshay Kumar Scale Kale Me. What I loved in this movie is vintage Akshay Kumar. Vintage Akshay Kumar. This is the Akshay Kumar what we want to watch. The fun, the humor he brings into the movie. Nobody can do that comical role as Akshay Kumar does. Tickling your funny bones, bringing genuine smiles and laughter is what Akshay Kumar can do and like nobody else can do. And what a fantastic on-screen presence of Akshay Kumar enjoying his role, making us enjoy his role as well. The movie starts off with a very good tone, friends, a comical tone with the conversation what happens between Akshay Kumar and yet another character in the flight that sets up the tone. And then not only humor, not only comedy, friends, Akshay Kumar has very good emotional scenes in the movie as well. One particular scene where he gives a call to his daughter and speaks to her, that is one of the most emotional scenes I've ever seen that really touches the core of your heart and soul. It's not a casual conversation we know. Just watch the movie, you'll appreciate that scene. And the last monologue at the end of the movie what Akshay Kumar gives, that gives the moral of the movie and that is that has also been written and picturized really well and Akshay Kumar going into the skin of the character has enacted it well too. And then friends, supporting cast ensemble is also really good. Vani Kapoor, she has given a very good performance. Expressions of Vani Kapoor, I just loved under chemistry with Akshay Kumar is really awesome. And then Tapsi Pannu, there is a particular scene where she reacts where she reacts and that reaction you need to watch she speaks for two to three minutes that's Tapsi Panu for you and the other actors also have given decent performances be it Fardin Khan be it Aditya Sale be it uh, Ami Virk or Pragya Jaiswal and other supporting cast and now friends coming to non-spoiler one line story of the movie seven friends out of which three are couple meet at a wedding party they need to spend some time they decide to play a game the game of phones all of us are going to keep our phones open on the table whatever message or call comes to anyone we are going to read the message or keep the call on a loudspeaker mode so that it will be shared among the others <laughs> initially there is a hesitation later everybody decide that we are going to play this game and what starts as a funny game becomes serious and more serious as the movie progresses this is because with each incoming message with each incoming call the other unseen face of each and every character is exposed in front of others and that sets up ripples in the relationships some relationships were already disturbed and this creates more nuisance in the relationships and what happens later forms the rest of the story of uh, Kel Kelme. The movie speaks about relationships, the trust in the relationships, the bonding between the couple, infidelity and lot more. The first 20-25 minutes of the movie is enjoyable. Later when the game of phone starts, you'll enjoy the movie to a point and after that the movie becomes repetitive. You know what is going to happen next. It becomes a predictable story. You are just waiting for the movie to end. The background score is good. The songs are good at that moment when you are listening to those songs are not good enough to carry them longer in your memory. Parde Me Rehne Do, which keeps on coming in the backdrop, is an apt song which fits to the theme of the movie. 70% of the movie is in conversation. Remove Akshay Kumar, remove first 20 minutes and last 5 minutes of the movie. There is almost nothing. For me friends, the movie worked in bits and parcels. A decent type of one-time watch. 6 on 10 over my scoreboard for Kale Kale May. Thanks for watching my video. If you loved my video, kindly like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you all in my next video with another movie review. Until then, do take care. Goodbye. Namaste.